My name is Kevin Pires. I'm a senior apps engineer with Expo, and I am going to walk through downloading data from the FOT920. So this is the old fast test max tester. Some things that you'll need is a USB to RS-232 uh, adapter, um, as well as the RS-232 to uh, a single pin. I think it's a 3.5 millimeter. It should come with the FOT920. So hopefully you have that. It's a short little dongle. So you will attach that directly to the uh, USB cable. <clears throat> and so once you do that, once you've connected your USB to RS-232, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your device manager. So in your device manager, and I'll just load mine up, you can drop down. It'll show you the COM ports. So if you go over to the left here, you see where it says ports. Drop that down, and my USB serial port is connected to COM1. So of course, I already have it plugged in. So I'm on COM1, so we'll, uh, we'll remember that. <clears throat> Another thing you'll need to do is install Toolbox Office 7. Point two one. So I will send a link for that. Um, but it's Toolbox Office 7.21. You can get it on the Expo site as well. Uh, so if you go to the Expo site uh, under support, let me type it in real quick. So under the Expo site, under support, you'll see download software. And then the software download. And then under PC software, somewhere in here, there should be a toolbox office 7.21. So you'll need to download and install this. And once you have that installed, <clears throat> all you'll do is you'll plug in the, uh, the FOT 920 into, uh, your, your, into your PC, and then you will launch toolbox office. There's a specific program in there. So I'll drop down the Expo, and there should be a program called Data Transfer. So I'm going to click on Data Transfer, and that'll open up a window. And so you'll have different options here. We want to do FOT920 to FTB400 computer. So I'll click on that. And then you'll select your COM port. So here's that COM1. Once I've done that, it'll ask you to make sure that unit is powered on, and my unit is powered on. I'll hit OK. It'll do a detection. It found the FOT920, and it's reading all the cable lists that are in here. So I just did a couple of quick tests in my office here, and I have one. I think it's cable I9. There it is. There's mine. Only a couple of fibers in that. And so we'll see the different cable IDs or... or uh, files that were saved in this unit. So I'm going to grab cable I9, which is the one that I, I just did. Then I'll hit it to transfer it over to the download list. Click transfer, and it'll move the file over. It should end in .fta. Also under storage, this is where I saved it to. This is my storage path. So I, I suggest changes, changing this to a storage path that you understand or that's familiar with you. So now that I have it there, I know where it's at. I can open up my Explorer, and then I will uh, go over to my Downloads folder. So wherever that's at, just to show you that it's in there. There we go. And so it should be this top one right here. So there it is right there. So if I were to browse to that, I should be able to find it. Then I need to open up another application. This one will allow me to convert it because right now it's a .fta. So there's another program in here under Expo that says Optical Results Viewer. So we'll launch that. And then we will open that FTA file that we downloaded. So I'll go to my Downloads folder. And then down here, I'll drop this down to FOT920. 3920, and there it is. It open, it populates it. So here's my test. Now, from here, I need to create some sort of report. You can save it in different, several different formats. You can print it if you want, 
and kind of preview what it looks like. This is basically just an HTML that you can print. Or you can save as, and there's different options here. The newer formats, OLTS and OLTS2, if you want to run it through Fast Reporter. Or you can do different formats here. So let's look at CSV. I think that's the most interesting. And I will save the CSV, you know, right in the downloads folder. Um, I'll just put the CSV in here. So that should have saved. So if I go back to my download folder, refresh this to the very top. Here we go. And this will open up Excel because it's a CSV. And so the first thing I'll do, I'll just highlight all these cells. I'll expand these windows out. So now we see all of our different options here. Um, average loss is probably the most common one. So there's our two fibers that I tested, both wavelengths. Now, if you want to, you can reduce the number of digits here. Just go over here and just, you know, just drop it down to however many you want to look at. So I can do that for all of these. Just make it a little bit more presentable. And so, of course, the most important information is going to be these ones here. So there's your A to B, your B to A, and your average loss. So you just cut these into your in, into whatever template you're filling out. Uh, it should make it a lot easier. So, I mean, that's kind of it in a nutshell. I mean, there's not a lot to it. Uh, you just need to download some software and make sure that you have the appropriate cables, and uh, you should be good. So hopefully this, uh, this explains how to download uh, the test files from an FOT 920. Thank you very much.